Hey YouTube, this is Nash Taters. Welcome back to another episode of War of the Visions. So, we got a lot of news to cover for today, but uh, let's always begin with our promised free 10x summon in the beginning of each video. Let's go for it right now, come on, here we go. Big money, big money. Oh, did it say collect units, mission 10? Yes, it did, didn't it? That is a good sign. Wow, okay, we got a lot of gold. A lot of gold. Ramada. All right. Mariluk. I really want to take a look at her. But Strike I did a stream last night, so for those of you uh, who joined, thank you very much. For those of you who couldn't make it, there's going to be more streams in the future. Uh, currently, the full thing is on YouTube, but uh, it's a pretty long one. It's like two and a half hours. So kind of maybe skip and pick through some of them. But we were talking about how Strike isn't very good on JP or on Global. It's perhaps something they need to boost, but uh, it is kind of niche in the terms of most RPGs usually rely on slash weapons, right? So Okay, Bow Love. Definitely one of the better cards in the game. Oh, I'm surprised I haven't maxed that, so I'm probably should max that soon. Oh, gold, here we go. Birth of new life. That sounds good. Alright. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I think it's Lucia for sure now because it, it gave me a new unit thing in the top corner. No, it's gonna be Engelbert or Lucia. Lucia, please. Oh no, it's Stern. Oh, okay, Stern. Welcome to the team, buddy. A little too late, though. I guess you get to join your brother. Oh well, no Lucia. Lucia, pretty Lucia. All right. Hey, I can't complain. It is a UR unit. And it's going to be sitting on the bench for a long time, unfortunately. At least in the time being. Alright, let's get into the news right now. Here we go. We got a lot of news coming. Let's begin with news that I should have covered a couple of days ago because this was released on August 1st. But we all knew this was coming. First of all, we're gonna get uh, Kyofei and Seymour. Mr. Seymour is an MR unit fire main job samurai. Kyofei is be the long awaited earth staff mage. And uh, we're gonna be getting all of those starting on August 5th. And uh, Keto Fei is going to be pretty powerful, pretty powerful. I will make a video whether or not you should or should summon, at least from the current perspective of progression in the game. Because I think this uh, should you save or should you summon video is going to be somewhat skewed because of the fact of what's been going on in the game and what's going to be coming up in the future. But the Seymour is a unit that has a lot of negatives, but it does have a few positive. It can do decent damage, for sure. It's a, it's a unit that has Thief and Samurai, and that combination makes it kind of powerful because of the fact that Thief can give him more mobility. And Samurais tend to do a lot of damage in this game. So, given that right there, that combination of jobs can make him actually somewhat viable. But there are going to be some negatives. Uh, some of the research I've done has shown that... Um, He's very lacking in terms of uh, AP, and that's going to make him hard to use in the beginning of combat. But you know, that's something to, to think about in terms of if you want to build him or not. But he can be very useful for an attacker. So as always now, they're giving us the once a day limited hard quests, which you can earn up to, I think, 50 shards. Yes, 50 shards. So that's very nice. That's a very nice touch for new units they release. And they're giving us this. So. 
Um, if you're looking for Kido at this time, it's a good time to, to really kind of max her out or try to max her out. As I said before, she is a time mage, or excuse me, staff mage, and that's something uh, that's going to be new to the game. The monthly login bonus. It's gonna be pretty much highlighting Keto Fei. And then of course you got your typical uh, five rainbow items, which is very nice. Of course, lots of gems. Pretty much your typical run of the mill login rewards by now. This is something new. The mock battle, which will be uh, new because of the guild change map, right? And we're gonna get a new guild change map. And what they're saying is that the mock battle is exact replica of the guild change battle map. Nothing too big deal for me, I don't really care about this stuff, but for those who do care, it is something to uh, keep in mind. So let's talk about actually next Final Fantasy 1 login bonus, part two. So as always now, if you notice a trend every Wednesday, I call it Happy Wednesday because it's the beginning of a five day marathon where we get 2,500 gems total plus along with some other goodies. So this one we're going to be getting some raid restore of course because we are getting a raid on august 5th and then of course you get a rainbow sphere at the end this is what i'm personally looking forward to because i got so many units from these uh 10x free pulls and when you get so many units it's really hard to uh, max level them because you just simply cannot limit break them fast enough but however you can take advantage of this especially those of you who have pulled warrior of light to take the advantage to now start uh, running the story mode to, to really work on your jobs for all your units that you're trying to work on. So this way you can try to use this to trigger your whimsy shop. And I was actually just farming over the weekend the gold dungeons, but it gets pretty expensive. So I think this would be a nice break for me because it's only six energy per. Now let's talk about the Far East. This is in conjunction with the release of Seymour and Keto Fay. Now. I have everything all lined up on terms of uh, the web pages that I looked up in terms of the information. I think this is a nice quest because first and foremost, they're going to give us another chance at the Platinum Rod. And I looked it up. I don't think currently there's any way to get this new weapon. It's called Os Osafune? Osafune? It's one of those names you, you're going to have to learn how to pronounce on your own or however you want to pronounce it. But it looks like it's Osafune. I have it nicely pulled up for you. So. A couple of highlights I just want to talk about in this video because there's no reason to go deep, deep details revealing every single battle and all that stuff. But basically, you're going to be earning medals. And here, I, as you can see, I already kind of highlighted where you will be earning one Rainbow Sphere, which for me is always the big welcome. Lots of medals when you complete the 10th battle. Now, clearly, there's going to be 10 battles. Now, let's take a look at the Mog Shop. Again, another opportunity to get a Rainbow fragment of thought and a rainbow sphere which is all very nice so and then because of the fact that platinum rod will be returning take the opportunity to farm up all of these ten tentacles this, this is what you really need and then of course the bomb ash is also another hard item to obtain now bear in mind when you're farming normally in the shop okay just the normal shop where you're buying up items with gold bomb ash always appears as an item you can purchase with your visitor slash gems. So whenever you see a material that the game itself try to charge you with gems, try to take the opportunity to farm as many of those as possible during that event. Now, in terms of EX quests, if you complete the EX1 quest, you'll be earning the Samurai Sword, some Ashes, and nice Rainbow Sphere. EX Quest 2, you're gonna get the Platinum Rod, some Tentacles, and of course, some rainbow spheres and uh, there is no rainbow spheres excuse me there is no rainbow fragment of thoughts when you complete the two EXs the last thing I want to talk about is the Final Fantasy 1 collaborative raid which will be coming on August 5th and uh, all the information I'm gonna to relay to you will be from the Japanese server so please be mindful that anything I say could be changed First and foremost, this boss is going to be Dark Element. It is obviously of the Death Machine. Now in the Japanese format, it went up to level 80 for the bosses. You can do them solo, or you can invite other folks to join your room. 
This boss is weak to slash attack and weak to magical attack. Light unit's gonna be obviously be potentially the best in terms of doing extra damage. So if you have Ramza, it's a good solid unit to bring. Uh, Ramza has the triple hit, which can you know help with the chaining. One important thing to note is that steel time does not work here because it's a machine. And I think it kind of makes sense. You can't mess around with him because it's a machine. It can be like Jedi mind tricked. So that's something to really keep in mind. Don't try to plan that out. Now, obviously, this may change on the global server, but the, at the time it was released on the Japanese server, uh, steel time does not work. So it is important, perhaps, just to bring a bunch of slash attacking units in or a bunch of magical attacking units. Now, we have multiple, multiple uh, magical attackers, but one thing to really keep in mind is that magical attacks are harder to chain. In terms of slashing attack units, I mentioned Ramza, of course, but I do want to mention that perhaps a bunch of the research I've done in terms of watching Japanese content, most of them bring dark slashing attack units. It's probably because it was some of the first units they built, therefore they were using them. But one thing I noticed is that if you have Orlando and you pick, which I, apparently I haven't unlocked, but I have tons of JPs that I can do, check this out. Deals large damage to targets within range and bestows Machina slash Stone Killer. And uh, it's got a pretty decent range here. So if you have Orlando, he's a huge potential in terms of chaining and doing large amounts of damage. I think with this, and if you equip vision cards and espers that will add more damage uh, to machines, then you're looking at 9,999 each time you can get this off. One thing you do have to bear in mind, it does consume quite a amount of AP and it's only two uses. But that being said, if you can chain, let's say four of these bad boys, that's a ton of damage. When you're looking at the, the original raid in Japan, they did offer you to get Armor of Light, which by the way is the reward. So here it says when you defeat Warmech level 40, level 70, you can get Armor of Light plus 2 and Armor of Light plus 4. Now personally, I highly recommend getting two armor sets of Armor of Light. One, you probably want to get a barrier, which will increase your spirit. And another one will be the shield, which will increase your defense. The reason being is because if you took a look at what uh, jobs can equip this, it's all heavy... Uh, tanky units and uh, you want to give those units two options one extra defense or two extra spirit right because they're in the front line they're taking the bulk of the damage and then of course if you're thinking about other units such as like uh, clothy wares then you can perhaps think of magical resistance which will be in your um, if I can pull it up real quick will be in your scholar robes so those uh, you can use to to craft your magical attack resistances or the defensive depending on what you're specifically looking for and just to reiterate you get to look at like many of the weaker terms of de uh, defensive units in the game all can wear this uh, so thank you for watching I hope you guys have a great weekend keep keep up the farm keep your heads up you will get those warrior of life shards eventually I think and uh, as always take care of yourself all your loved ones Nash Taters and his crew out